this video, I'm going to show you guys the most basic settings for Repeat Your Host and how to connect your Repeat Your Host to a Cerberus PUP 170. Uh, let's get that just there. Okay, so you first start out not connected to the printer. Now you want to have the printer turned on at this point, just have the power on and the USB connection connected and verified. And you're going to go to Config, Printer Settings. And you can see here at the top that when you first install Repeat Your Host, it just says Default. You can come in here and you can type in whatever you want. You know, you can say Sir Burus Pup 170, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you want. I've actually already got one made up, so I'm just going to leave that one at default. So, and once you do that, you'll be able to see that you can set up as many as of these as you want. I have a lot of different printers that I've been running. Uh, so, but this one we're going to use Cerberus Pup and we'll start with the connection tab, the serial connection and this particular printer connects to the USB through COM11 but you can refresh the ports here and pick whatever COM port is not COM1. It should give you COM3, 4, 5, whatever it shows, just pick that one. And then you can auto detect your transfer protocol but Marlin always uses ASCII protocol and if you were to use Re Repeatier Host, I'm sorry, Repeatier Firmware, you could uh, use Repeatier Protocol, which is a binary protocol. Uh, at this point, we're just going to leave everything else the way it is and we're going to go on to Printer. I've got the travel feed rate set to 5000 for both the uh, X, Y, and the Z and you could set a little higher if you want to. In, in this case, I just have it set to 5,000. 5, uh, default extruder temperature of 180. Bed temperature of 0, extruder 1. And then I like to check the extruder and bed temperature because it reports back to, to your a logging window. And then uh, uh, check every 3 seconds. And the park position is set to 0, 0. And then Z is 134. Let's move on to printer shape. It's a Rostock printer. Pick that one. And you home to min, min, min. The, uh, the pup has a printable radius of 170, but we, we don't quite get that amount at the very edges where the uh, belts are, so I just put in uh, 80. So it's actually 160, because that's radius, so the diameter is 160. And the printable height is 138. It's just fairly close. It's actually 138.6 or something like that. Uh, and then we leave everything in the Advanced tab alone. You hit OK. Now you can now you can hit Connect, and your your printer uh, should be set up in the shape of your of your print area, and it should tell you pretty much all the stuff you want to know down here as far as. Uh, uh, your your settings, your the settings that are in EEPROM here. So you can toggle the log on and off as well up here at the top. And that is the basic settings for Repeat Your Host. And that concludes this video. Thank you.